Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number 9. And we're going up against an alliance called Gods of Destruction. So I've already scouted out my paths. I've seen who I'm going to have to face. Uh, you see, I went in with my standard team. I believe they will be sufficient. I'm the first one over here to the left which means I'm not going to be able in at least this first segment to get to all of my fights, but we will be able to fight this Gamora. Now you can see the boost that we're dealing with. See that defense tactic dodge, which everybody chooses. You can see she is a small champion. So that means she's going to be evading a lot. She doesn't normally evade. She's going to be evading a lot now. All right, and you're gonna see why Gladiator Hulk is the best for this path. See all that? I got smacked up, but I'm still in good shape. It's very difficult to die with Gladiator Hulk on this path. You can make all kind of mistakes, and he's still gonna be great. All right, so you can see I'm healing up most of the damage that I take, including the recoil damage, because I am running suicides. That's because on Starburst, which is path one here, uh, Gladiator Hulk activates Face Me. And while that Face Me is active, he heals up most of the damage and he does more damage on top of my suicides. All right, so we came back when we had enough energy and now we're gonna fight this Spider-Man. Now Spider-Man, he evades anyway. And he is a small champion and they chose defense tactics. Not a good look. Now, if I were to do this path with say Venom, easy, all right, would have ripped him up. But I don't have Venom, I have Gladiator Hulk. And what makes Gladiator Hulk good, as I've told you before, uh, is his resilience. So you see here, I'm just trying to hit once, twice, all right, and trying to get him down just like that. See, he evaded, got power. Uh, that's that uh, defense tactic there. All right, so I'm just getting these good crits in. Just trying to hit him once. See, he dexed it out of that one, so that wasn't even an evade. All right, and we're just trying to slow play it. I'm in the corner. Now, I tried to evade it, but I got backed up into the corner, so my back was against the wall, uh, which is why I wasn't able to do it. Then he parries me. Look at all this damage he's doing, and he does a good amount of damage, but with face me active, just look at this. Look at my health. That is why Gladiator Hulk is the best for this path. I made all kind of mistakes, played sloppy, got hit all upside my head. And look at him, still in good shape. All right, so uh, that's why I love path one. I ranked up Gladiator Hulk just for this path, although he could have done it at rank three. And look at this, when I came out, my path, the paths were clear. I was like, wait, what? They actually did that quick. I said, all righty then. All right, so we're on to uh, section two now. And in section two, I take path two. All right, so I came on up. Uh, you see one of my Alliance mates is already up there. And they gave me a little break and did not place anyone on that first node. So I used up my energy and I went to sleep. All right, so 17 hours, watch this, boom. Now we got five, almost six hours left. All right, and next up is a Juggernaut. At least I don't have to worry about Juggernaut evading all over the place because he's not a small champion. And I sat there uh, thinking about using Blade, but if I had Ghost Rider, Blade would have been the perfect counter for this but i wanted to keep my blade because we have a thing boss and i might be called upon to use my blade against that boss so instead i went in with my favorite starkey and as you can see starkey ripping him up man all right so here we go boom now i don't even have to worry about that special and it's a ko he goes down hard Love my Starkey. And that's with suicides, but I know I'm not gonna need him 
to fight too many more fights. All right, so now, of course, this domino isn't cleared. So I went off, did my thing, grinded some more arena, and pretty much waited uh, for them to uh, clear it, let me know that they cleared it, and uh, jump back into the fray. All right, you see she's small, and so the defense tactic is gonna kick in. Well, you can see they got her down about half, and then I was called in to finish off Domino. They were like, please finish her off. I said, all right. So I popped in a small boost. I've got plenty of them, I was capped. And then, uh, just in case, I'll have to go back in here, because that thing, uh, uh, kicked me out, I think, or I went out. I don't know which. Uh, but I went ahead and uh, healed up just a little because that's the thing with Domino. I'm going to take damage. I can't skill myself around it. I'm going to take damage no matter what. So I definitely want to be in there full health. And you see I am capped on the invulnerability boost. All right, so boom. May as well use one. And into the fight we go. So fighting her with Starkey, I had to make a decision. Uh, I wanted to build up poise charges. I start with three because I have blade with me. I just got one, but it's not always easy. And remember, I'm gonna have to deal with her uh, evading like that, okay? It's gonna be a pain. And she's hard to parry as well. All right, so I'm trying to play it slow. Look at my health, just draining away. She's not hitting me. I'm just losing health and down she goes. So um, I didn't take that much damage, but you never know. And so now I'm like, well, I finished her off and I got that Captain Marvel movie version. And I'm like, well, I still got the invulnerability boost going. Uh, yeah, Starkey has a, you know, class disadvantage, but let's do it. So I healed up a little bit uh, and I only use the uh, level threes and uh, we go into this fight as quick as we can. Now, in this fight, something happens and you'll see it and I'll call it out when it happens. All right, so I'm trying to build up poise charges. She is very aggressive. She reminds me of Venom. And just look at this. I had, I'm so happy I, I had the uh, invulnerability or else I would have gotten wrecked right there. Okay, and all I was trying to do was evade and build up poise charges. So you see, I got nine poise charges. And so I'm like, okay, let's go in. Now I can't evade that one manually, but fortunately Starkey was able to do it. So we're almost gone. She's almost dead. And then that happens. Now, let me tell you what happened there. Clearly, I forgot how to evade because my Starkey stood there, even though I tried to evade, but it is what it is, whatever. All right, now that was the last fight that I had in this war. My alliance mates cleared it out and even got a one shot on the boss. So let's find out how we did. And as you can see, we won this war. This is the first win in a string of losses. So congrats to my alliance. We played very well this time. Uh, so that's gonna do it. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.